Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2. In the last episode, my car was stolen. We're here to get it back. Hmm. Better be prepared for a fight, I suppose. Oh, I shouldn't have bought all that stuff. Maybe I should go sell it. No. Alright. Let's go see what's in here. Oh yeah, he's still hurting really badly. Hmm. And how's my HP, by the way? Oh, my HP is... There they are. And there's my car! Alright. This is it. Let's see. Let's see what happens when I go inside. I'm probably going to reload. You see a grease-covered mechanic. You see a grease-covered mechanic. You see a grease-covered mechanic. Another mechanic. You see one of the chop shop boys. Hey, let's talk to him. Pardon me, good sir. T-Ray slept with my sister, and my mother, and my dog. What? T-Ray's in the back, on the phone. There's phones? Who are you? What are you doing here? Where'd you get that hiring in? Hmm. That car you have in the garage belongs to me. Your car, man. You don't even know what the hell you're talking about. That highway man was scrapped and left lying around. And guess what? Now it's ours. Because you've got an issue with that. We could settle it here and now. <laughs> yeah, I got an issue with it. Let's go, chop shop boy. <sighs> you can have the damn iron piece of shit anyway. It uses too much tricity. Smells like gecko inside. Trunk's too small. No. What are you going to do with the car? Jazz up the engine, clean out the interior, put a brass rope around the license plate, and kick some of that shit out of the trunk. Make some room, and when we're done, it'll be worth some serious chips to Mr. Bishop. Sell her to Bishop? I can meet Bishop's offer and then raise it some. No, I can't. Oh my god, why would I say that? Actually, you won't be selling that car to anyone. The car's mine. And then he repeats what he said last time. Jeez. Can we... We can barter with him. What does he have? Cosmetic case. He's got a shotgun, a wrench, a jimmy hat. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> now, can I keep talking to him about it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to save here. Just in case something bad happens. Um, hold on. Let's, uh, nothing. Now let's get really close to him. Like, right here. Close. Where's Cassidy? There's Cassidy. Alright. <laughs> you see a good-looking black man. Uh, no, wait. Uh, anyway. If I remember correctly, I had a shotgun. Nah, I got rid of it. Okay. I'll just use this. Let's talk to him one last time. Let's talk to T-Ray. Set that to burst. Feel sorry for the idiot who left this highwayman lying around. Yeah. Where'd you get that highwayman? I like the look of it. I'm one of Bishop's lieutenants. I'm here for the car. <laughs> Let's try that. Studies you. Frowns. Yeah. Sure you are. I know all the Bishop's lieutenants, and you ain't one of them. Nods at the door. Get out of here before I lose my temper. I am one of them. Not we got a deal or what? Oh. Then he starts punching me. <laughs> 
You shouldn't have done that. Now you die! Yeah. Like that. That guy's running like a coward. That guy's gonna come in here like an idiot. Um, let's go over here. Cassidy, what are you doing? Okay. Now I'm gonna burst you in the face! Burst shot, folks. Use it. <laughs> These guys aren't that hard, actually. Let's go here. And burst him in the face. Oh my god, I killed Cassidy. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not happening. No. Yeah, burst shots. Be careful about that. Alright. Gonna switch to my gun. Switch to burst again. And... That belt car belongs to me. Let's go, chop shop boy. He's got a shotgun, but he's not gonna use it. Anyway, goodbye. Oh, jeez. Cassie was hit for 37 points. He's almost dead. Did I do that last time? Let's get to an area where it won't hit Cassidy. Yeah, like that. Ha, <laughs> T-Ray can't hit worth crap. Anyway, let's burst his bubble. <laughs> Love doing that. And get over here. Crap, time to scram! Yeah, it, it is time to scram. Scram, whatever. Hmm. Okay, I'll just go after the other guy. Hope Cassidy's gonna be okay. Huh. He missed. And you're dead. Nothing, I mean nothing, beats the burst shot. Okay. Dang! Nice job, Cassidy. Just don't die on me now. Let's just shoot this guy once. Finish him off, Cassidy. I said finish him off, Cassidy. Is he almost dead? Severely wounded. No, nah, I'm not going to use my special magnum for this guy. Goodbye. I say goodbye. I say good day. Seems we're always getting into one scrap or another. Yeah, it's true. Oh, I missed. Finish him off, Cassidy. Nice. And we earn Chop Shop Boy was killed. For crushing your enemies, we get 360 experience. And all the spoils. That's probably really heavy, yeah. I can't carry that much. Okay. Well, the car's mine once more. Let's put all this junk in the trunk. Yeah, I did just say that. And uh, herp derp. Da, 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 da. Put that in there. Put that in there. Anything really heavy I'm carrying? Let's put that in there. I don't need to carry that around. Put that away. Put that away. Yeah, keep that. Put that away. Put that away. Perfect. All right, now let's go pick up some of the stuff the Chop Shop Boys left. I don't know if you can get to this area um, just by yourself, like if you didn't have the Highwaymen. So, I don't know what it is. I'm just going to take it. It's junk. More junk. No, Cassidy, I'm not going to give you any... Oh. Well, going to have to kill that guy. Chop Shop Boy was critically hit for 21 points, and with no armor, he is knocked to the ground. Die. 
And he's dead. Cool. The Highwayman's got a full analog system, 800 plus horsepower, 0 to 60 in less than a second. Well, that's, that's rather impressive. I'm glad it's mine. Now, who said that? Oh, hey there. Oh, you want to run away, do you? Yeah. I wouldn't recommend that. You've got a lot to answer for. Yeah, you just keep running away. I can hit you just fine. Ass. All right, what do you got? Bugger all is what you got, and I am not British. Uh, a locker. Yeah, let's just keep plundering this place. The locker is locked. How quaint. Let's lockpick. It's got some stuff. This is probably locked too, but... Yeah. Alright, let's take that off. No, I don't want to steal. I want to lockpick. No, I don't have any stems. Wow, this one's actually giving me a hard time. Huh. Don't I have lockpicks? I could have sworn I did. Let me check the trunk. Lockpicks, do are you here? Yes, there they are. I think they increase your chances of picking locks. So, let's use them. Mm, fail. There we go. There was nothing in there. <laughs> yeah, that was worth it. Whatever, I got 25 experience for it. Alright. Crowbar. Why not? More locked lockers? More locked lockers. 25. Failure. 25. Failure. 25. 25. Okay, they're all unlocked. Now let's see what's in them. Mm, nothing. And some stuff. And uh, nothing. And Jimmy Hat's rum and stuff. Let's just take them. Why not? They're worth money. Everything's worth money. Now, is there anything in here? It's locked, of course. Fail. 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 Why am I failing so much? What's in this locker? Open. Open. Ope. Yes. You better not be empty. That took a while. <laughs> Lockpicks. Wow. Well, well, getting two is kind of a waste, but whatever. Let's check what's in the desk. It is locked. You fail to disable the lock. You fail to disable the lock. You fail. You fail. There we go. Got it. Shotgun shells, booze, and a knife. Nothing really substantial here, but if you're low on caps and want some a few hundred experience points, come on by, guys. Kill the things, things, kill the men here and uh, steal their stuff. And nothing in there. What's over here? On this workbench. The workbench is locked? Whatever. Hey, a radio, a tool, and some junk. Can I grab the tool? Radio? Junk? Nope, junk's too heavy. I don't think we need junk, so... Put the radio, the tool, the lockpicks, the jammy hats, jammy hats. I can't believe those are in this game. They actually do have a use. And I will tell you what use that is, and yes, that use is very obvious. 
the sledgehammer in there, put the junk in there, put that in there, put the shotguns in there, put the booze in there, and I'll keep the leather armor on me. All right. Anything else? A <laughs> switchblade, nice. And he's got a gun, very nice. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Let's just end the combat. Equip. 29 shots. 27 shots. Let's equip that one. Let's just go right here and... This round is yours, but the fight's gonna be mine, he says, running away. Sorry, good friend, but you lose. Allow me to elaborate. You lose like that. And the fighting's over. The chop shop boys are no more. And the car is mine. That wasn't so hard. That seems to be everything that's around here. Anyway, let's do what I was going to do and head back to Gecko, shall we? Something pretty cool at Gecko I could do as well. There's an unknown right there. Broken Hills. Vault City, Vault 15, Redding. Vault 15? Where is that? There it is, Vault 15. We know about Vault 15 using out-of-character knowledge. There's the new California Republic, too. Interesting. Let's go with that unknown just for fun. Okay. To Gecko! We The settlement. Lenny, Harold's assistant. Oh, is it bartering? If you yeah, it's bartering. Let's go. Okay, now we can trade. Now what kind of armor do you use? You've got no weapon and no armor. Right. Let's have a custom here. Sometimes, don't worry about hitting me. What? Wait, wait, wait. be sure you won't hit me. I want that. Fine. Run away when... Your finger hurts. Okay, when you're not feeling good. Fine. Range than melee. Doesn't stay close to me. Attack the weakest. No. Um, whoever's attacking me. Stim packs when hurt a bit. No. Any cam some of the time. I'm clean. Okay, stim packs won't hurt a bit. That, that's good. Melee damage, one. Yeah, that's not cool. All right, let's give him some stuff. You can take this. Even though it's really good, I would like you to have it. Um, Take the ammo for it, of course, and let's do that. That's it for now. Okay, I've got two people in my party now. Let's check this for... I believe I've got some good armor for you. Yes, some leather armor. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? No. Wait a minute. Urgh, going down, going down. Come on. We still have the hydroelectric part? Huh. Anyway. Now let's trade once more. I'll give you this. Oh, and uh, here's a weapon to protect yourself with if you run out of bullets. Actually, I'll give you a switchblade just to be cool. There you are. Oh, and one last check. Combat control. Armor used, use best armor, use best weapon. 
Perfect. <laughs> the doctor is... He's ready. Anyway, can he heal? That's it for now. Perfect. My team is ready to kick some butt, I suppose. Oh yeah, the thing I was going to show you in Gecko. There's a special little thing you can do here. Oh, let's let's put away my gun first. And I'm going to show you it. It's in the reactor, yes, in here. But I won't show it to you just yet. It'll be in the next video. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2. In this episode, um... I forgot to grab something in my car trunk. While we're here, why don't we fix the gecko power plant? I don't think I've done that yet. And what gave me the hint that I haven't done that yet was this little bugger. Here we go, the hydroelectric part. Let's go fix the, the plant now, shall we? Yes, yes. Ah, my coffee has gone cold. I thought you might all want to know this. It is a sad day for me. Inside we go. Oh man, I hope I don't need those stupid cards. I'll need to go back and get those. Yeah, I think I will. Fudging monkeys! Monkey fudgers! <sighs> Hmm. I'm gonna have to try to remember how to get that special thing to happen, too. It's pretty cool, actually. Ah, yellow pass card. Uh, do I not have a red one? I could have sworn I should have had a red one. Well, whatever. You know, I was kind of worried that I wouldn't remember what to do in this game, but no, everything's pretty settling in pretty quickly. We're getting things done. That's the most important part. I think I'll, yeah, put that there. Is that the only way? That is the only way. I remember randomly ghouls would attack me here. It was kind of weird. The door appears locked. Use that to unlock the door. Now we need to find a red one, or else we could, can't get to that little station there, and that's where we need to get to. I believe a ghoul might give one to you. I'm not sure. Let's just, let's just search for one, shall we? Ah, there we go. Haha, <laughs> perfect. That does nothing. Okay. Leak? What leak? What? Feels best in here when the gauges are all in the red. Uh... Yes, this place is... Dangerous. Basically, you don't want to step out here into that glowing area. That's never a good thing. The door appears to be locked. Let's use this red key card. Let's see if I just have to... Yeah, you've got to use the card. There we go. Does that unlock this other one too? Yes, it does. Okay. Let's save the game here. There we go. Just in case. Nice part you got there. Just what we need. Glad you like it. Want to install it? I'd like to help you out, but I wouldn't know how to install something like that. I mostly just watch the gauges here. Try Festus. He's the resident parts genius. Just ask him. Where is Festus? Festus is out the way you came in. He's in the control room. Can't miss him. He's the smelly, whiny one tattering about underneath that huge ego. He should be able to help. Thanks, goodbye. There also is another way. You can control a robot, and you have to 
guide it along here till it gets there. Anyway, let's use this thing. Hello, welcome to RMR and RTC Station 3. Uh, hold on. Let's log off real quick. I think I have a Dean's Electronics, yeah. Let's read that. You learn a lot about repairing broken electronics. What is my repair now? 44? Not bad, not bad. Okay. Let's see. Initialize. Okay, now there's a certain way you're supposed to do this. Let's try that. Oops, log off. Action? No. Log off again. There's a certain way you gotta do this. Initialize... Initial... Oh yeah, uh, reset. Function. Log off. Come on. Initialize... The first one. Incorrect. Log off again. Initialize... The second one? Alright, good. Let's try the last one. And now the first one. Tritary function access code accepted. RM and RR unit warming up. Unit ready for service. Service procedure, initiate general maintenance, coolant maintenance, cleaning sequence, huh. Remain at ready status and log off. Now I know there's a way I can do something here. Huh. Initiate repair sequence. Repair service initiated. Searching. Hydroelectronic scale required. Preparing to move the main coolant valve for a part replacement. Place part and transfer tray beneath terminal. Oh, I guess it means this thing. You know what? I think I did that wrong. It, whatever. Remain at ready. Log off. Let's go talk to Festus or whatever. Um. Could you move, please? Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Thank you. Alright. Let's talk to Festus, who should be right here. Hey there. Uh, what brings you to this part of my atomic reactor? Well, I have a part that you can use to fix the reactor. You have a spare hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator on you? Ah, you actually know what this is? Surprised, I told you that I know all about atomic power plants. You did? I don't remember that. You should have listened to me. Well, since you know what it is, you must know how to install it. Of course I do. Why, that's just plain simple for someone of my experience and talent. I was weaned on magnetosphere regulators as a pup, you know. That's great. Can you install it for me? Well, I, I guess I could install it. I, I'm certainly the only one that could install it right. Installing the hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator is pretty tricky. Well, here's the regulator. I knew I could count on you. Okay, I'm here, but it's still not sure this isn't the right part. That's not a trap somehow. You know, I'm, I'm much too valuable to waste. Maybe I should just let someone else do this later. Much later. Yeah, Festus leaves and then comes back. He's still carrying the part. It needs to be done now, and you're the only person that can do it right. Come on, all of Gecko depends on you. Did you see me out there? Never even faltered. You gained 4,250 experience. Woot! And I've gone up a level. Alright, now that that's all done... Let's see if I can do that little thingy over here. Hmm. General maintenance. Load current service procedure. Back. Eh? 
What the heck? No. Da, 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 da. Back. Repair sequence, cleaning sequence, coolant maintenance, general maintenance. Yeah, I did something wrong here. So, in the next episode, I will show you what it is you can do at this little computer here. Until then, I shall be leveling up.